In life, everything must be learned. We are not born educated. We learn math, languages, how to ride a bike, or how to drive. But have we been taught to manage conflicts? So what do you do when you are in one? A conflict left unchecked or faced unskillfully ends in violence. The best way to deal with them, however, is with nonviolence. Have you heard of it? If you want to put it into practice but don't know how it works, you will make some common mistakes. One, you will see things in the short term, wanting quick results, and this rush will lead to mistakes. You are used to action with a reaction. Two, you will think everything comes down to external activism without seeing the importance of interior nonviolent transformation, both for you and your group. Empowering everyone takes time. Three, you will act with your feelings, obeying fear or anger or the desire to impose your will. And all of this will only make it harder to make free and constructive decisions. Four, this will also make you look at your adversary through these feelings, gradually convincing yourself that they cannot be included in the solution. Five, you will be unable to thoroughly analyze the situation and determine the source of your adversary's power. And without that, it is very difficult to plan a resolution strategy. Six, as such, you will improvise nonviolent action as you go, and that often ends badly. Seven, you may become discouraged by these failures and perhaps without evaluating or understanding why things ended up that way. Eight, you will be tempted to return to violence, especially when they provoke you. Nine, it may even be that you had not considered the effort and consequences involved, and they seem disproportionate to you. If you don't accept them, you might be complicit in injustice and your positions and actions will lose credibility and could lead to even bigger failure. But all of this can be avoided if you prepare well. With training, you could change yourself in the face of injustices around you. Would you like to learn more about nonviolence?